officiate today's graduation along with my esteemed colleague, Phil Kaufman. Before the presentation of diplomas, I have a brief message for my fellow graduates. I'll begin with a quote from Dr. Seuss. It's a short one. How did it get so late so soon? It's the very question I asked myself seven hours ago when I was writing this. <laughs> I also had to write a 1,000 word speech uh, test for a uh, writing placement test. I finished it, but I didn't sleep. So again, how did it get so late so soon? But even if it's hypocritical of me to tell you, the most important lesson of high school is never be late. Otherwise, you'll get attention from the hall sweep. But there are no hall sweeps in life, and there are no second chances. One of the greatest fallacies of youth is our belief in our own invulnerability. But I'll let you in on one of the greatest kept secrets of all time. But it might make you a tad uncomfortable to hear it. Here's the secret. You're not immortal. It's one of the most ubiquitous and important realities of life, yet it's one of the hardest to acknowledge and talk about. The Roman poet Horace once said, Carpe diem. To translate that from Latin for those of you who are graduating today, it roughly translates into YOLO. <laughs> but to mind mindlessly repeat this into a cliché would be to trivialize it. One day, when you're interviewing for a job, the interviewer might ask you one simple question. And that question would be, what is your biggest mistake? While serving on the Board of Education, I've actually had the privilege to be on the asking side of this question. You can ask Dr. Stark. What I've learned is, do not let your biggest mistake be the fact that you've never made it. One of the most profound lessons that I've learned during the past four years comes from a film I watched called The Three Idiots. One of the protagonists, a college student, describes his friend like this. He says, most of us went to college just for a degree. No degree meant no plum job, no pretty wife, no credit card, no social status. But none of this mattered to him. He was in college for the joy of learning. He never cared if he was first or last. Now, at the end of the day, you're not an idiot if you follow your own thinking and your own opinions. If you listen to your own heart and your own intuition. If you do what you truly want to do, you'll be streets ahead. And you'll never find yourself wondering, how did it get so late so soon? Thank you very much.